Okay, everyone, today we're removing a tree stump. So I'm gonna go over kind of how to remove a tree stump. Again, this is probably not something that I'm the most experienced in. So a little bit more, just captured a little bit of our work out in the site here. But we've got uh, a row of trees that was taken down uh, last year, but we left the stumps in. So there's a diff couple different ways to do this. Uh, easiest, if you can get a stump grinder to just grind it down and leave the root system in place. That's gonna be better because it's gonna be less uh, having to regrade everything. But we don't have that, we got our excavator. So we've done this before. What I'm gonna do is work around the stump here and then try and rip it out with our excavator. And then at that point, we'll be able to bring in some fill and put it back to grade. So let's go ahead and jump in the machine and we'll get started. Okay, so we're gonna remove this stump. I don't know if this is gonna be as much of a how-to video because it's not something we regularly do. It's more just entertaining to watch. So uh, we have two, we're running a Komatsu PC 210, probably a little bit overkill for this. We have a mini excavator too, but I just, this is a big stump. It's been there about a year, but we're needing to build a parking area in here in between these trees kind of. So I'm just gonna rip it out. We did this last year with a few. So let's get to work. The first thing I absolutely, with any, Make sure, and with any digging in the ground, make sure you've notified utilities. So we already did a utility check on this whole area. There's nothing in this. The biggest thing for me is I'm gonna be working in between a bunch of trees. So looking for overhead, this was one area that I kind of had carved out already, um, but making sure you're able to get in there. And then really the first few exploratory kind of scoops is trying to find out where the base of that root system is. I'm trying to avoid uh, disturbing this ground too much. So. As much fill as I can leave here, I really just want to rip out the stump itself and then go from there. Now this stump's a fairly large tree that's right next to another one, so I'm a little bit nervous. And this is coming out pretty easy. The other fortunate thing is this is an old stump, so everything's probably died off. Well, that was that one was easy. So we'll do a couple other ones here. What I'll do is watch where. Try and save as much fill. And that looks like that got all that one. So we've got about a f five of these things around here. So I'm gonna go around and try and grab a few more of these. So the first one came out really easy. I've seen these uh, take a lot more effort, but I'm gonna keep going down the line here. Biggest part, again, is looking for overhead. To see if all these uh, with uh, these other trees right next to it trying to save the root system at all for the others so a little bit of it is going around the edges So you'll see my machine is actually because I don't have my track straight to it. Hopefully that gives me a little bit better leverage. So this one, I'm gonna try and create a little bit of a hole on the side. There we go. That one went.
trying to leave as much of that dirt in there. moving to we'll bring some fill in here but as much as I can get of the main root system so that one's down trying to look for holes within the trees up there where I can drive get that boom arm in there without disturbing this grass too much so it looks like this one's got two sometimes just feeling them out a little bit with the top of the bucket there. in there. Trying not to disturb these other ones. system. Of course it falls. more. So what I'll do later is we'll come back with a dozer. Actually, I might bring a mini excavator with a thumb and get some of those pieces, but as long as you get the main root pieces you need out of that, then you'll be able to come in and kind of grade it. This tree is... This is a stump. Now this one, I'm not really sure if there's multiple. That went easily. That's the main one right there. This is also where making sure, we've done this in our other videos, making sure your counterweight, what you're scraping into. Eventually you're just kind of smoothing through it with the teeth, almost like a rake. I kind of, the few times I did this before, I kind of said it's like a, 
being a dentist or the hygienist where they scrape your teeth, I'm feeling for any plaque. If I plaque, if I feel any wood, like anything hard there, that tells me I need to go in and kind of get it out of there. Again, I think the toughest part here is I'm trying to save these other trees I don't want. So probably in an ideal world, you would actually stump grind these because my hope is I didn't do any damage to these other root systems, but inevitably I'm sure there was something. Okay, that was all good, scraping through this one. but I don't want to tear up my ground. Hey everyone, so that's, I wouldn't call it a how-to clear stumps, but a uh, different type of video, just showing us doing some work, clearing some property here. Uh, so if you guys have, if you like these type of videos, let us know in the comments below. Also, if you do this for a living, you're clearing a lot of property, give us any tips or tricks that you might have. So thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.